what is going on? No horsing around family. Zach Boyd back at it again. This episode is going to talk about Michael Pittman Jr. extension. I think it's time to have a conversation. So much talk about Jonathan Taylor and his disruption with his agent and just how he's handling himself, Jim Irsay's comments. Let's talk about a guy who actually showed up and played. He said very little, but he's going out there and doing it, and he's going to make his name on the football field. Michael Pittman Jr. made it real simple. I'm going to let my agent take care of that. I'm here to play football. I'm under contract, and I'm going to go out and see if I can't earn that next big deal, and that's exactly what I expect him to do, if I'm being honest. Um, let's talk about what that looks like. Four or five years deal. deal. Um, I'm 100% okay. 18, 19, 20 million dollars annually. I think that's probably where the Colts would like to land. Obviously, he's going to want to land north of 20 million dollars with the trajectory of, of the current, you know, NFL structure of all of these young receivers getting these really, really nice big contracts 22, 23, 25, 27. Hell, even a, a guy like a Tyreek Hill getting, uh, you know, 30 million dollars a year. I don't expect to get that high with, with Michael Pittman Jr. Wouldn't be shocked. If, if Pitt comes in there and gets something like a five-year, $95 million deal. Um, don't know when it's going to happen. Don't know if it's going to happen. It's a slippery slope because you're dealing with another superstar who wants a contract, and now you may end up just going ahead and offering Michael Pittman Jr. the contract and saying, no, 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 not so fast. We're going to wait, you know, and do something with Jonathan Taylor and just see how this all transpires, see if we can't mend that relationship. But as far as Michael Pittman Jr. goes, He's being a pro's pro. He's going out there playing football, and he's available. That's the biggest thing. He's he's asset he's adding to himself. He's adding so much value every single day because he is out there on the football field. He wants to play, and he wants to get paid. Well, you can't get paid if you don't play, man. If you want to sit on the sidelines and pout, you can't get paid. It's just that simple, and unfortunately, that's the way of, of, the, of the modern NFL. you got to go out there and do it. He's handling it the right way. Obviously, his dad has you know a ten-year career in the NFL, so he knows how these negotiation goes. He knows the best practice and the best process of how to handle himself in the middle of this situation. I expect him to get paid. I expect him to get paid a lot of money. I expect him to have a really good year, and we'll we'll, we'll kind of you know let the chips fall where they may. Um, and I think there's an extension that, that could happen. You know, either early on in preseason or early on in season. I do think that there's a little bit of a dynamic and a hesitancy from Chris Ballard. He wants to see how these players actually play and evolve in Shane Steichen's offense. Hasn't had a chance to see that yet. And that's fair, man. I mean, if you're going to pay someone lots of money, huge contracts we're talking about, you want to see what you got on the football field. You want to see how that translates in your current offense with your current coach who's going to be around for a very long time. So just want to know your comments Michael Pittman Jr. extension. What would you pay Michael Pittman Jr.? Until next time, guys, as always, like, rate, review, share, subscribe. Join the No Horsing Around family if you haven't, and let us know what you think about Michael Pittman Jr.